Okay, in this lesson I'm going to show you how you can use pointers to directly manipulate data in memory. In this case we're going to be looking at character arrays. The ability to use a pointer to directly manipulate data in memory is one of the most fundamental skills you need in order to be a successful programmer. In an earlier lesson we talked about setting a pointer so that it contains the memory address of a string constant. I pointed out that with a string constant or string literal you are able to read the characters of the string but you are not able to change them. Now we are going to look at a way to actually change a string of text character by character. First of all let's look at this code. Now here we are saying that the printf function is going to print the first character of the string is and then we have percent %c which means an ASCII character is what is expected and as our argument we are saying what is at the memory address contained in my pointer. So we look up here and we can see that with this line of code we are creating a pointer called my pointer. It's going to look at characters and we are assigning it the value string. What is string? Well if you look up here we are creating an array of characters and if you remember in the previous lessons because we are dealing with data that is larger than a single variable of a given data type we are using a pointer. So string is a pointer. However, this is an array. The array is the actual data in memory. An array is a sequence of data elements that are all of the same data type, in this case characters. So the array is the entire string of text, hello Reddit, including the termination character. String is the pointer that points to the start of the array. Do not think that this is the array. This is the pointer that points to the start of the array. This is the array, the actual data as it will be in memory. Okay, so with that in mind, here we are saying what is at the address of my pointer? Okay, well what would that be? Here we are assigning my pointer the value of whatever is contained in string. String is a pointer. It contains the memory address of this H. So by setting my pointer to be equal to string, what we are saying is we want this pointer to contain the same memory address as this pointer, which is here, which contains the memory address for the capital H. So you should be able to then see what the output should be. So take a look at it and what character do you think this is going to be? So the output here is going to be like so. Because what is at that memory address is going to be the H. Remember a memory address is only one byte. So this is a pointer that looks at the beginning of this string. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this into a sample program real quick. And let's run it. And as you can see, the first character of the string is H. So hopefully this makes sense to you. If any part of this is unclear, then feel free to ask your questions. Now notice that we do not need to put an ampersand character here. The ampersand character, which means address of, is not necessary because string is a pointer already. This is a pointer. So if you did put the ampersand, you would be basically saying that you want the memory address of the pointer, which we don't want. We want the memory address of the start of the array of characters, the start of the string hello reddit. So when you have 
an array of characters that is created like this, or an array of anything for that matter, then the name you give it, in this case string, is going to be a pointer to the start of the array, which means that if you have another pointer of the same data type, in this case these are both care pointers, and you want to assign another pointer the same memory address, you do not put an ampersand character because doing so would give you not the memory address of the H but the memory address of wherever this pointer is stored in memory. So once again because I know this can become confusing for beginners the pointer is the plain English name used to look at the array. The array is the actual data in memory. So do not think of this as an array, this is a pointer. This is the array. This is going to be a pointer to the start of the array. So now if I wanted to change a character, how would I do it? Well first of all, remember what I explained in a previous lesson about how you can use the same syntax of what is at this memory address in two ways. You can use it to read the data and also to change the data. Watch what happens if we do this. If I write like this, then what I'm saying is whatever is at the memory address for my pointer, which is going to be this capital H, I want to change it to become, in this case, a lowercase h. And if I run this program, now the first character of the string is a lowercase h. And the whole string, how would I get the whole string? Well, I would change this to percent %s for string, and I would change this to be the actual memory address where the string begins. And then if I run this, you will see that the capital H has been changed to a lowercase h by this line. Now keep in mind that my pointer contains the memory address to the start of this string and so does this. So if I were to replace my pointer with string it's the same thing and I can run the program and you'll see the result. Same thing. Now see how the capital H has been changed to a lowercase h? That's because of this line of code right here where I say what is at the memory address my pointer is now being set to lowercase h. Now if I were to set it to for example 1 like this well then the actual byte is going to become this which if you remember is how the number 1 is encoded in text. So if I run this program see the the letter has been changed to a 1. And this is the difference between a constant and a variable. Here I am able to change the string directly by simply saying whatever is located at the memory address of the first character of the string I want to change it to whatever I want. Now if I want to change it back let's change it back right here. Let's say my pointer equals h. And now what's going to happen is the program is first going to change it to a 1 then change it back to an h and then run this which means it should be the way we expect. It should be exactly like it is here and if I run this program and you see that everything is back to normal and it says hello reddit. Now remember that because this string of text resides in memory with each character immediately following the character before it, adding one to our pointer will cause the pointer to point at the very next character in the string. This is true for all C programs that you will ever write. For example, let's go ahead and erase our sample program here and let's suppose we have this code. So here we're creating an array of characters the array of characters is exactly this, the H, the L, the H, the E, the, A, the L, the L, the O, and so on. All of these characters in memory is the array. The actual data is the array. This is a pointer. It contains the memory address of the start of the array. 
and here we're creating a new pointer called PTR which we are pointing to the same thing, the capital H. We're assigning it the same memory address as this. So now what if we write this? And then we write, then we write this. And let's do it one more time. And then we write. Think about what we're doing here. We're, first of all, we're setting the first byte to a capital H, which it's already set to, so it's really not going to have any effect. But it's this line of code is still going to execute. C is going to locate that byte and set it to an H. It's already set to an H, so nothing is really going to change. Then we are going to increment our pointer by one, which means that instead of our pointer pointing here, it is now going to be pointing here. Because in memory, the way that this is going to look, for example, is here you're going to have an H, here an E, here an L, and so on. So whereas pointer was pointing here, as soon as we say PTR equals PTR plus one, it is now pointing here. So when we run this code, we are changing what is at that memory address to be a capital E. And then we move pointer again by adding one to it, which means it is pointing at the memory address that is one more byte forward in memory. And we are going to change that to a lowercase l with this code. So watch what happens if we actually turn this into a sample program. And we need some kind of a printf statement so that we can see the result. The new string is percent %s. Now we need a pointer to where the string begins. We can either use ptr or string either way they're the same memory address so if I run this program and take a look at what has happened the H the E and the L have been converted to uppercase letters using a pointer and moving it through memory now let's go ahead and just finish changing the first I have to add one to the pointer to cause it to point to the next character now instead of pointing here it'll be pointing to the second L in hello. I'm just going to condense this a little bit just so it's easier to fit everything on one screen. And now, let's do that one more time. What is that? The memory address PTR becomes a capital O. And now when I run this program, take a look at what we have. We've changed it to all uppercase letters. This works because C will store your array of characters exactly the right way in memory, where each character will immediately follow the character before it. This is one of the benefits of using an array in general with any data type. Remember in a previous lesson we created height and then we created width, and I was showing you how pointers work by showing how you can move the pointer to point to the next variable? and I explained that you can't do it that way because you don't know whether height you don't know for sure that height and width are going to be right next to each other in memory well if you create an array then you do know that they immediately follow in memory and that's one of the benefits of using an array so in this case the fact that we are specifying an array of characters guarantees that it will be stored correctly in memory in such a way that you can that you can use the pointer the way I just showed you. Now notice that what we have done is very simple. We started at the first character of the array. We changed it and then we continued through until we got to the end of the word hello. We have gone over the same concept in earlier lessons but now for the first time you can actually do this in a real program. This concludes lesson 10.6 and it also concludes unit 10. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and on to the next unit.